All right, guys, and here is the finished product. We have our DIY breeding slates. These are three inches by nine inches, approximately. And if you stand them up on end uh, and put them in an aquarium, it's a perfect breeding surface for any of your sticky egg laying fish, uh, such as angelfish or potentially discus. Um, these here were cut out of 12 inch tiles. If we go over to the tile saw, we can see what this looks like. Here are the 12 inch tiles. From there, uh, you have to make sure you get the ones that don't break. Uh, slate is obviously very prone to cracking, so you're gonna have some losses when you do things like this. But you take a 12 inch tile, and uh, in my case, uh, I took essentially three inch by nine inch pieces out of this tile. So if I lay this back out, uh, how it originally came, you'll see we're able to get five breeding slates out of one tile with uh, only this much left over as scrap. Now, uh, if you were to cut tiles, there are two sizes that I would recommend. Uh, there's either the, the three inch by nine inch, like you see here, or, or potentially four inch by 12 inch. And if you were to do that, you would just cut three long strips all the way to the end, uh, and then you wouldn't have any waste whatsoever. But uh, those are the two sizes that I would recommend uh, cutting from these tiles. The tile saw itself is uh, pretty self-explanatory. It's just a wet tile saw. Uh, important to note, we have a guard here, and that's just to keep the, the water down primarily. You'll notice I'm wearing a raincoat, and that's because uh, this thing puts off quite a bit of uh, water, and uh, it's pretty nasty stuff. If we pop this open, we can see what it looks like underneath. This is where our water reservoir is, and uh, every once in a while, uh, you'll have to clean this out. There's a plug right here. Clean it out because uh, there's just stuff that gets caked uh, on the inside of this thing. You always want to make sure this is topped off. Uh, you don't want the tile saw to run dry. Otherwise, you're going to ruin your blade, your diamond blade. So what I did was I just set this fence about three inches. Uh, I nudged it back just a little bit so that all of these are exactly the same size when they're all cut out and uh, it's working out pretty good. Um, important to note when you're using a tile saw just make sure you watch where your fingers are while you're cutting and uh, you shouldn't have any problems. Anyways guys hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.